Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will take a look at the newest member of the Butler family. This is Butler Auth and it's used to make it easier to integrate ClickSense Enterprise on Windows with various authentication providers. Uh, that can be used to create strong login flows for ClickSense. The idea here is that um, it's a plug and play system where plugins make it easy to use whatever service you need. First out is LDAP and Active Directory. And here we will obviously need to enter our username. And this is an example page where we can do this. Uh, first, let's try with a username that doesn't exist and see what happens. Okay, so that doesn't work. Instead, let's use an existing name, username and password and um, we this will then be authenticated against LDAP and Active Directory then returned to Butler Auth and finally forwarded to ClickSense. So that works. Next demo is usernames in file. And this is a very basic scenario where we store usernames and passwords in a clear text file on disk. Not recommended for production use, but it can be useful at times to set up a quick and easy, quick and dirty um, authentication scenario. And we have there a username Goran with password AAA, I believe. And if everything works, we will be authenticated against that list. And once again, we are uh, forwarded back into Sense. This um, file could also be stored, for example, in a Git repository in order to um, make it easy to control it and secure it. Always same user is also a very basic scenario where a specific user, a sense user, will always be used when authenticating. Uh, this can be useful, for example, in a I don't know, on a trade show where um, visitors should always be able to access a SaaS application without logging in. And then it doesn't matter if everyone is using the same account. It might even be uh, desired that everyone uses the same account. So when using this scenario, no matter what browser we access it from or uh, from what computer we will always end up in ClickSense as the same users, the same sense user. Then there will also be uh, limitations on how many users can access this in parallel due to sessions. Uh, next is a Google scenario where we use Google login to um, prove that we are who we claim to be. And the be uh, benefit here is that we also get uh, things like two-factor authentication. And here, let's switch to English and do this again. So here we have a security key, a hardware security key that's used to um, secure access to my Google account. Once that's done, we are again forwarded back to Butler Auth and onward to ClickSense. The Microsoft scenario is very similar. It's using um, the standard Microsoft login flow. And right here, this is not configured for two-factor but it's it's the same login flow as you get when you log into Microsoft but here we use it to 
authenticate with ClickSense. Okta then is a, it's a commercial authentication provider, um, quite popular in enterprises. And it has a lot, a lot of features. And here we're just using the basics, which is authenticate ourselves, prove that we are who we claim to be, and then uh, return to Butler Auth, and then onward to ClickSense. Keycloak is an interesting service. It's an open source identity provider, very feature rich and um, definitely enterprise grade. Um, it can be run in, in Docker containers, in Kubernetes, it, it, very good system. Um, used in exactly the same way as the other tools, other services. Um, we have a user directory in Keycloak and we authenticate against that directory. So that was an incorrect login attempt. And now let's use the correct password. And once again, we're taken to the hub. Last but not least, we have Facebook. It's probably not a um, very likely scenario that your users will uh, authenticate with Facebook in a corporate environment. But just to show it's possible, we will prove our identity with Facebook. And here we have a hardware security key again. And when, once that's done, we can continue and uh, we'll end up once again in the hub. Here we're being logged in as a new user, not the same user as before, meaning that um, we don't get any applications. We don't have any application applications or anything in ClickSense. But the login works and um, Facebook can also be used. Mm -hmm. and these are just some of the possibilities uh, for using this tool, Butler Auth. Um, additional um, authentication providers can be added. This is, um, it, uh, Butler Auth has a plugin concept where uh, new providers can be added quite easily. These that we look at now were created in but half a day. So it's fairly quick and easy to add new ones as well. Thanks for watching.